Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannon's, where you can sign up to be a member of the Shannon's Club, your local Holden Certified Service Centre, Pace Farm the Enjoyable Egg, and Heron Forbes Machinery House, where you can buy online. G'day, I'm Fletch and welcome to the show as I bring you to Adelaide in South Australia for the Holden Tribute Cruise to the Adelaide 500 in this week's Classic Restos on the road. It's another emotional one, not just through the eyes of the Holden diehards, but from an Australian production standpoint as well. Okay, so what's this all about? Why are we here? Over 1,000 classic Holdens have turned up here at Elizabeth to pay tribute to the Holden brand's last supercars race around the streets of Adelaide. Well, things don't get much better as the cars are leaving the Elizabeth City Centre on their way to the Adelaide 500. What could be better than a drive through the old Holden plant here in Elizabeth? They're entering from the other street on the other side, a quick drive through the plant and then out this exit here behind me. What an incredible feeling and an atmosphere this is. This would have to go down as one of the best final salutes that the brand could ever receive. So this is how the appreciation is shown. A perfect recipe. Over 1,000 Holdens in the mix, processed nicely into a single file. Then the car cruise begins. Oh yeah, if the vehicle was built by General Motors Holdens Australia back in the day, it's welcome here. Leaving Elizabeth in blocks of around 150 cars, through the suburbs they go. Wind the clock back for a moment, and this activity would have been a normal day on the streets for these cars once upon a time. Look at this procession. Family cars, working people's cars, cars that meant something when they were new, back in the days when neighbours and friends would visit your driveway to check out your new Holden. A symbol of success working hard in different times and buying a new family car. A lot of the original owners of these cars have now passed, but the cars, they still remain. And that's a great thing. They may not make the cars anymore, but you will never stop the ones that are left turning up to car shows, enjoying weekend drives, and participating in tribute cruises such as this. And here we are, parked up at the Adelaide 500 for 2022. How are you, Phil? I'm well, Fletch, well. That is great. How does it make you feel to be part of this Holden procession for the big event? Makes me proud, real proud. Been a Holden man all my life and um, I passed owning a Holden garage at one time. Yep, you'd have nothing else. Wow. What an incredible time for you to have owned the garage. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Yep, yep. Hard at the time, but yep. yeah, as it turns out. Yeah. Looking back now, it was a pretty cool part oh, of your yeah. career. It was a great time in my yeah. life, yeah, really yeah. was, yep. Well, I pounced on Phil. He's got this incredible 1969 HT Monaro behind us here. Once it was a 307 car, 350 car now. Phil, tell us the story of where you go back with these cars. Uh, 1969, I started work as a, an apprentice at Toot Motors in Peterborough. And... Um, from there I worked up um, as technician on the bench and of course those cars back in those days were our better bread and butter cars. We used to uh, work on them, clean them, used to race them too, but uh, not me, I'd never afford to do that in those days. Um, then I became a service advisor and, um, and after 10 years there um, I ended up buying the place yeah. with a partner. Yeah. 
and uh, owned a Holden dealership. Wow. Oh yeah, and it was, was great. That's incredible. What was it like back when you were an apprentice, when these Chevrolet powered cars were around in the Monaro? It must have been a, a very exciting time, Phil. It certainly was. Um, it's one of those things, I guess, a lot of the kids, the, the young men around the time in the town, um, they're either driving a Monaro, a Ford. When you're an apprentice, you don't get to drive those things. You can't even afford to run them. But, you know, as time goes by, here I am and I've got one. This is beautiful. What, what's the colour? It's Sebring Orange, genuine Holden Holden HT colour. Look at the side profile of this Monaro. Look how beautiful the car is, the design in this car. And we look at the wheel covers, the push on wheel covers still in place. Um, the car, now at a restored level, that is just incredible in itself. When was it restored, Phil? About um, 20 years ago. That's yeah. a 20 year old paint job. Did the car come with any options? You could buy a lot of options in those days. When when uh, HK first came out in '67, it was a big options game. Yeah. They made made it so you could option your car however you wanted it. Yeah. And in those days, when in '69, in August or September '69, you could have had th uh, three V8s and uh, five different six cylinders in that car. Yeah. You know, unbelievable. You could yeah. you could mix and mix and match out of the factory or at the dealership yeah. at the time. This. Holden thing, it's never going to go away. Car shows are never going to stop. These processions, these tribute shows are never going to stop. The Holden certified service is still going at, at certain outlets as well. So we've still got some history and tradition. It's going to be with us for a long time yet, Phil. Absolutely. And when you've got people like my son, who is almost as interested as I am and gets more interested as the day go by, and then my grandson mm. is coming up that way as well, um, where does it end? Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully it never does. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Phil, it's been an absolute pleasure having you on this very special episode here in Adelaide. Thank you for bringing the car along. Uh, it's a credit to you. And uh, you're here with your, your son as well, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yep. He gets involved in it yeah. and uh, it's a pleasure. Yeah. That, that's fantastic to see you both. All right, mate. Keep up your great work. Thank you, Fletch. You're welcome. And uh, again, thanks for uh, making this event, helping to make it what it is. Thanks, Phil. Thank you very much. Excited. Now, because you've been good enough to come along to, to Adelaide and be a part of this, um, there's no doubt you're a Holden legend. We're going to get your address details and you're going to be sent something in the mail very special from General Motors Australia. That would be absolutely wonderful because you know what? I've got a 1932 Chev Roadster in my shed as well. <laughs> and it was built uh, at Woodville yep. by General Motors Holdens yeah. in 1932. That is brilliant, and that's a story for another day. But in the meantime, you've got something to look forward to with Australia Post, OK? Absolutely. Thank you very much. I've been a motoring enthusiast all my life. My Coupe 4 is rare and very special. A real performance car with all-wheel drive grip. I'm not a car club bloke, and I don't work on it myself, but I do have a great mechanic. One day, I might even get that HQ. When it comes to insurance, it's got to be Shannon's. Shannon shares your passion. Call Shannon's on 13 46 46. Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. When it comes to cars, there are some brands that will remain with us forever, no matter what. The Holden was always Australia's own car, held high in the hearts of many. Those lines, that chrome, the stories around them and the people that owned them. From the classic through to the final, you can still trust in genuine Holden and AC Delco parts, available through the Holden Certified Service Network. Here we are, walking around the paddock, right next door to the Adelaide 500 for 2022. How are you, Heather? I'm very well, thanks, Fletch. That's good, sporting a nice hat? Ah, oh, it's a good hat. Keeps go. the sun off. Yes, it's a warm one here for 2022. We have an XU1 Tirana here. The Salamanca red for a start is the colour of this XU1. Uh, we've also got hubby over there, Paul, who uh, has also played an integral part of this restored Tirana. So um, he's done a good job. He's done a fantastic job. Him and his little friends, yes, they've done a great job. So Heather, through your eyes, tell us, what do you love about this XU1 Tirana? Well... It's red, it goes fast, <laughs> and my husband loves it, so I don't drive it, he drives it. But she just ticks all the right boxes, doesn't she? <laughs> well, that's good. Well, 
in the fair income department, we've got, uh, it's bought out to a 208, so there you go, from a 202 out to a 208. It's had a lot of things done to it. It's uh, lightened and balanced. It's got a Yellow Terror Stage 3 head, racing pistons, a Bathurst camshaft, roller rockers, electronic ignition, high flow oil and fuel pump, three core radiator, M20 gearbox, and a 308 differential. So there you go. Did you know all that, Heather? No idea. No. <laughs> Got watching at home going, oh, yeah, yeah, right, oh, yeah, yeah, that's good, that's good. Yeah, so don't worry, that's a, that's a comprehensive list. Yeah, it is a very comprehensive list, yes. So tell me, Heather, the um, the XU one, when you were a little girl, tell us where your memories go back with these cars. Well, I wasn't that little. It was back in 72. Okay, younger girl. Yeah, I was a younger girl. Oh, they were cool. They were really, oh, I loved them. This was the shape that Brocky won Bathurst in. That that in in the yes. in in the beginning we had a that's the one we had yeah. a six cylinder engine and whereas the L X L H well they were the the big bangers with the V eight so different categories but still very admired today. They are they are and there's not too many of these little fellas around anymore. No. Done a good job. The interior's nice. Seats nice. Nice job on the dashboard. Yes, does a good job. It's a very special event here for 2022, obviously the Adelaide 500 and uh, the Holden brand's last time uh, with the supercars to be racing here. Yes, that's right, and that's why Paul wanted to be a part of this, because he yeah. just loves his Holden. He's always been a Holden man. I just think that there's just so much passion. There is so much camaraderie uh, with, within Holden and the owners uh, to pull all this together. And this is the nice thing, because as we mentioned earlier, this stuff is never going to go away. Never, ever. I just think these sorts of things are brilliant. They just bring people together and have a chat with people that you've never seen before, yeah. never likely to see again. Yeah. But, yeah, no, it's really, really good. Have you always had Holdens in your family? Yes. Yes, up until our latest car, which is a Mitsubishi. <laughs> but prior to that, yes, all Holdens we've had. Tell us what cars can you remember? Ooh, Mum and Dad had an FJ, they had an EH, they had an FC. Just imagine though, those cars you've rattled off, just imagine those those three cars, say for example, just lined up in the driveway now. Oh, just, well that's what we said walking around today, if we'd kept all the old cars that we've had over the years, yeah, no, it'd be just brilliant, it'd be fantastic. Look, it's been wonderful catching up with you. Um, I think it's wonderful through the eyes of a lady once again to turn up here uh, in the XU1 and thank you for being a big part of it. Heather? Thanks, Fletch. Thanks very much. Hey, this is what it's all about. An original 1979 HZ Statesman. 57,000 Ks are on the clock. To tell us more, here is Kayleen. Moving on through, how are you, Kayleen? Good, thanks, Fletch. That's good. You're enjoying your day. Having a wonderful day. It's been a very emotional day. Yes, it is. It is. It is an emotional day. I uh, just want to mention you've got the final raw cap there. So, uh, obviously, you, you went to the Tail and Bend event. Yes. Marking the end of the brand. Uh, as we know it, the traditional hold and uh, Tail and Bend uh, there for the final raw. Of course, Bathurst this year. Um, so, again, here we are at the Adelaide 500. Uh, what a tribute. It is. It's been an amazing day. And just to drive so many cars and to drive through the old Holden factory it was just yeah amazing to think that that's when my car was made yeah, yeah. Mm. Kayleen this uh, as you mentioned earlier is very emotional we've got the uh, in my eyes this is the uh, the Australian Cadillac uh, yes. the Statesman for 1979 what an interesting time because we also had the SLE Commodore out at that same time as well available with a V8 they were still making these big girls before just getting into the WB um, beautiful cars very very well finished where does this go back with you? What's the story? Um, my father bought it for my mother after um, she won her single bowls competition at Ruka as a, a trophy for winning the bowls. And then she passed away 20, over 23 years ago. And then it was left to, in a, a shed for 10 years. And I got it back out and um, it was originally from Gilbert's at Mount Barker. And we took it up there 30 years for 50,000 K service after 30 years. So yeah, it's a very. She's only just done fifty thousand, fifty-seven thousand kilometres. To think that um, your dad bought this for your mum because she won the single bowls. Yes. Imagine what present she would have got had <laughs> had she won the double bowls. Yes, it would have been amazing. But they never drove it very much because it was very precious to them when they bought it. When they first got it off the a family at Maitland, there it still had plastic on the spare tyre. So only they only drove it on Sunday to church. Um, yeah. The cup original couple. Yeah. yeah so. 
Her name is Doris because there's only one of her here today out of the 1,400 cars, so very special. Not many statesmen here. And you name it after your mum? Yep, after my mum, yep. That's lovely, Kayleen. And uh, back to these overriders on the front and rear bars. I could just imagine you in the, in the car park, so I'd just get out of my way. I'm coming, <laughs> I'm coming through. Yes, they're big car. They actually are big to take shopping. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't take her very often. But the power steering makes life easy, yes, though, doesn't it? Yes, it does, and it's got electric windows, so yeah. it's good. No, it's a very luxurious car. That's, that's the thing with these big cars. Um, the the big American cars. Well, well, doesn't matter what brand they are. Any of the big three and yeah. these cars here in Australia, with the power steering, they they were effortless. You could you could really manoeuvre them into some really tight spots. It's, it's yeah. She's. It's fun to drive her, it makes me feel 18 again. Yeah. You, you look 18, Kayleen. Oh, thank you, Fletcher. Um, the glove box manual yes. from day one, how special is that, Kayleen? It is very special. She's, um, yeah, 1979, very special, yep. This is a beautiful car. It's very symbolic, it's a high-end car, it's a special event here uh, at the Adelaide 500. You're just, you're just a part of it, Kayleen. Yep. And it's very good to be part of it. Thank you very much. That's okay. Well, you keep up your great work in, in preserving this wonderful Holden because it's a, it's a real gem. Well done. Beautiful. Thank and, you. Uh, also in memory of your mum as well. Thank you very much, Fletch. Thank you. Every weekend around Australia, motoring enthusiasts get together to share their passion for cars and bikes. It's a passion that brings us together. All sorts of people. All sorts of cars and bikes. From the classics of today to the classics of tomorrow. At Shannon's, we understand enthusiasts. So when it comes to insurance, it's got to be Shannon's. Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Call 13 46 46 for a quote. They may not be making the classic Holden anymore, but the legacy lives on. You can still have a Holden certified service using genuine Holden and AC Delco quality parts at over 180 centres across Australia. Go to holden.com.au to find your nearest centre. Book your Holden in, maintain the pride. And if you own a classic, it just has to be insured with Shannon's. Why not pick up the phone and give Shannon's a call for a quote and a chat on 134646 and the Shannon's Club awaits you. For more information, visit shannons.com.au. Time now for a 1953 48 215. How are you, Mick? Yeah, very good. Thank you, Fletch. Having a ball here today. Come out for the last race of the Holdens and uh, we thought we'd bring the old girl out and uh, let people have a look at the very first Holden. You'd have to get some looks in this, wouldn't you, Mick? Yeah, we got plenty of looks on the way in this morning and uh, everybody giving us a thumbs up. It was very good. You know, the thing is, Mick, even if your paint wasn't as good as it is, you'd still get looks in this car. So, yes, definitely. Uh, it's just an original colour and a couple of stripes on it and a couple of numbers and it makes it look really good. Well, here we go, folks. This is where it all begins. The first shape Holden, 48215, obviously the release in 1948, and the 215, meaning a 2.15 litre engine. In 1953, here she is, still retaining that same shape, that glorious waterfall grille, the amount of die cast that Holden put into the presentation of that back in the time has never ceased, never ceased to amaze me. You try and restore one now and see how much it costs. It's uh, very, very uh, cost-consuming to get one of them done for sure. Mick, I love how you've restored it. It's, uh, it's, it's the young boy racer. It's how they used to race them back in the day. Um, these were the cars when you were broke that you would try and get a hold of and, and make them perform. Um, you've done a few things to it, but first let's talk about your restoration. Now the paint is outstanding. The interior is amazing. You've got leather everywhere. Um, it's an outstanding job. So, first of all, where did you go with the engine? Uh, with the engine, we had the engine bought out to uh, 143, I think it is, uh, bigger pistons. Uh, they're dome pistons, which gives it a lot more compression. Yep. Um, so we do have to run um, 98 fuel. Uh, the engine is built for the modern day fuel, yep. and the camshaft is warranted for the engine as well. Yep. Uh, and it's got original Stromberg twin, twin carbies on it yep. uh, with the old type extractors. Yep and a single exhaust all the way through and it just goes along nicely. Originally these come out with 60 horsepower, this one may have about 120. Yeah. What's the colour of the car Mick? It's called Lithgow Cream, original colour. So we look at the interior of the car Mick, beautiful job there, now you've done all this yourself too right? Uh, well I didn't actually stitch the leather together oh, but yeah. uh, 
Uh, I picked all the colours, picked all the leather, and I had an upholstered door, of course. I don't think any of us actually do a true 100% restoration ourselves. I don't think so either, no. <laughs> but other than yeah. the paint and the stitching of the leather, yeah. I did everything myself. Yeah, yeah. You know, like even painting all the black underneath, that's yeah. all done by me. Yeah. The, the engine, the brakes, the gearbox, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was all... For myself, yeah. Well, it's, it's so neat, and how you've kept the, the steel wheels too, period, yeah. correct from, from the time. Yeah, stand, this has got standard brakes, standard standard hubs, standard wheels just pumped out to six inch on the front and sevens on the back. And do you need a calendar to plan ahead to stop, or do, does it pull up okay? Uh, well, you've got to think about when you've got to start pulling up, for sure. Plan ahead, plan ahead a bit. If you see a green light ahead, be ready for it to go red. <laughs> Good on you, Mick. Thanks very much for being a part of this episode here in Adelaide. Rich. That's right. Really appreciate it. Cool car. You've got to love this all day long. 53FX. Great job, Mick. Thank you very much for bringing it. Thank you very much, Fletch. You have a good day too. Moving through the Adelaide 500 and behind us here, a very important final raw tent, showcasing each year model Holden from 1948. Alrighty, it's time for a tug on the heartstrings coming into here. Of course, starting with an FJ, followed by an F.E. Holden and the F.C. An F.B. Holden, the E.K., the E.J., and on the end, the E.H. What a priceless collection. These are private people's cars, good enough to be brought in for the Adelaide 500, the Holden Tribute Display Tent. These are stock standard cars. They're not modified. They're beautiful to see. Moving across from the E.H., we have the H.D., and of course, HR. And our line progresses with the HK, HT, and a nice example of a HG. Our line of technology changes. We move into the HQ, HJ, a really nice HX panel van, and rounding off with a HZ. Some extra credit here to the HJ, a beautiful example of this LE, this limited edition two-door car, sitting here absolutely incredibly presented. And then the WB, interesting time. This was going to be the four-door Kingswood of the future. It didn't quite make it, but at least we got to see it introduced to us in a Statesman. Interesting times, the launch of the VB Commodore, and then the VC and to round it all off, VH, and then VK in that shape. We have a nice example of a VL Calais before the incredible transition into the VN Commodore. Leaping then into the VP and then the VR, taking us then to the VS, the VT, VX, and VY. Then VZ and the VE. And just across the pathway from the main tent, of course, we cannot forget the legendary Monaros. And of course, some little cousins, LC and LJ Turanas. And of course, the whole collection is not complete without, of course, the first Holden, the 48215, rounding off with the legendary VF. And as we allude to final, well, things don't get much more final than this, because this VF here was in fact the last VF off the line. The Adelaide 500 would not be complete without a couple of hundred Harley Davidson motorcycles and of course the first and last Holden in a glorious procession of respect. The cars here are getting ready with General Motors Australia, GMSV and Chevrolet Racing executives in attendance. I'm going to see if we can send it through turn eight. <laughs> Craig Lowndes gets the hot seat in the 48215 in pole position, helping to complete another incredible race meet weekend. The air conditioning to the holes in the floor and the windows down, that's the air conditioning we got. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so no matter where you're watching Classic Restos from, until next week, please ride and drive safe. I'm Fletch and I thank you very much for watching. You can like and follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash classic restos TV and watch catch up episodes at shannons.com.au. 
Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannon's, where you can sign up to be a member of the Shannon's Club, your local Holden Certified Service Centre, Pace Farm the Enjoyable Egg, and Heron Forbes Machinery House, where you can buy online.